Now to a story you saw exclusively first on 10. A music and chorus teacher at Pioneer Middle School in Cooper City has been arrested after some sort of an incident at that school. Local 10 News reporter Terrell Fournay is live outside the courthouse in Fort Lauderdale now where the teacher just went before a judge. Terrell, what happened? Well, that teacher, as we have learned today, has been employed by the Broward School System since 1993, working at various schools. But today he is under arrest for allegedly causing a major disturbance on the campus of the latest school where he is currently employed. Mr. Brewer, good morning, sir. Good morning. Larry Brewer is a longtime music teacher with the Broward School System, but today he's an inmate in the Broward County Jail. The state has asked that you not return to any school while you're on pretrial, okay? I, I understand that. The 63-year-old was arrested Wednesday while on the job at Pioneer Middle School in Cooper City, where he's been assigned since last summer. Prosecutors say there was an ongoing investigation involving the teacher, and Brewer was being served a transfer notice, but he refused to leave. The school campus ultimately was placed on lockdown, a code yellow, which means students couldn't leave class. The music teacher was eventually handcuffed and arrested, charged with trespassing and corruption by threat. I don't Parents and students familiar with Brewer say they always thought he had a short temper. Out of nowhere, this guy literally just snapped in the middle of a meeting. I definitely didn't feel safe around him. This afternoon, Brewer's nearly three decade long teaching career is on the line. I do have personal property on, at, at the school. Okay. Um, that's going to be handled through a different route. And it's unclear what that initial investigation was about, but the district uh, in a statement sent to us earlier today says that Brewer has been reassigned away from the school pending the outcome of both the district investigation and of course the police investigation uh, that had landed him in jail. He is being held on a $30,000 bond and he can bond out of jail, but he must wear a GPS monitor if he is able to do so. And also he must stay away from uh, that school and all other schools in Broward County. That per the judge. Reporting live from Fort Lauderdale this afternoon, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.